a little confusing. You might not understand totally what I'm going to be talking about, but I want. I was looking at quarterbacks, I was looking at backup quarterbacks, and I was looking at the past in, in NFL history. And I was looking to see the who might be the next Dak Prescott, Justin Herbert, Tom Brady. Because every few years, there's a young quarterback that isn't expected to play yet, uh, and, you know, entering the season, I mean, not expected to play, you know, in the near future, but then he gets thrown in there due to injury, plays insanely well, and then before you know it, he ends up getting the starting job uh, for that team. And just to kind of run this back on on a few examples here, uh, one, I guess, uh, one of the more recent ones is Colin Kaepernick, and no, I'm not getting into politics, I'm just saying, uh, in, the tw- in the 2012 season, Alex Smith went down with a concussion. Cap stepped in. He played really well, led the team to a Super Bowl. Didn't win the Super Bowl, but still led the team to the Super Bowl. And uh, he wound up keeping the starting job moving forward. Another recent example of this was Justin Herbert. If you remember, Tyrod Taylor was the week one starter uh, what uh, two years ago, right? And a, uh, a punctured lung gave Justin Herbert the chance to prove what he can do. And here we are today. Tom Brady. We all know the story there with, with Drew Bledsoe and how that all happened. That's that's what I'm talking about, right? Dak Prescott uh, with Tony Romo, who was thought to be towards the end of his career anyway, uh, injured his back. Prescott was named the starter until Romo would come back. But Dak went out, proved his ability to be an NFL starting quarterback and had been in the man, and has been the man in Dallas ever since. And then of course there's Kurt Warner where after a long journey he earned his spot as the backup to Trent Green in St. Louis. Green gets hurt, Warner steps in uh, for his first game his first NFL start against the Ravens, had a stellar game and then went on to have a Hall of Fame career. So who's that next guy? That that's what I'm talking about. Who is that next guy? You know, and I think the top 3 candidates are probably Malik Willis, right? Kenny Pickett or Desmond Ritter? And I mentioned this to my roommates, I think, a week ago. And I came out and I said, bold prediction for the year. And I think I said, and, and I'll, I'll put it out there on the air as well, bold prediction, within the first six weeks of the NFL season, so week one starts, within the first six weeks of the NFL season, either Ryan Tannehill Uh, Mitch Trubisky, or I think I said Trey Lance, but, you know, that wouldn't be a a scenario similar to this. Um, You know, I said, so I'll keep it that way. I'll keep it short. Either Ryan Tannehill or Mitch Trubisky will get injured. It'll be a season-ending injury. The the young quarterback, Willis or or Pickett, will step in, and then they'll, you know, they'll be that next chapter in that kind of young quarterback steps in due to injury to QB1 plays really well, and then takes over as a starting quarterback, and then he, he's the future guy. That's that's what I'm getting at. And sure, Desmond Ritter is is a potential candidate for that as well, but I think Ritter might, well, I don't know, maybe not after Mariota played. I thought pretty well in week one. Um, so I, I want to know who will the next guy be in that chapter. I think it's most likely to be uh, Willis or Pickett. I, I don't necessarily think uh, Ritter will will you know. I, I don't think Ritter will necessarily you know come in f- from a Mariota injury. I think you know Trubisky. I, I think the offensive line for Steelers needs a little bit of work, and Trubisky was scrambling a little bit, and I don't think he was necessarily doing it in a safe manner. Uh, so who knows? He he could possibly get hurt, and Tannehill as well. You know, I don't know. I just feel like there's got to be some way. You know, things seem to work its work it work their way out a little bit, right? Where you know a lot of people are saying, "Hey, we want this guy," right? And even entering the season for the Chargers a couple of years ago, a lot of people were saying, "Start Herbert. We don't. Want, we want him to start over Tyrod Taylor." And you know, things kind of worked their way out a little bit, right? Things, the NFL gods worked their magic, and here we are. So I see that as a potential. You know, I, I see that as, you know, those are two potential candidates to be the next quarterback in that, you know, in that chapter when we talk about things like that. Um, I, 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 and I was looking at, at NFL quarterback depth charts, and, you know, you could also think about, right, Sam Howell, right? Because Carson Wentz has had 
some injury issues, but Taylor Heineke is quarterback two on the depth chart. So if Wentz gets hurt, you'd have to you'd have to wonder, do they give the ball to Sam Howell or do they give the ball to Heineke? I think it depends on where they are in the season, right? If they are, you know, in the playoff race and they're in a wild card race, they're probably going to stick with Heineke because he is better, uh, you know, better ability wise. Um, Howell, I think, would see the field if they're <laughs> really bad, right? If they're like two wins, right, and it's week twelve, and Wentz goes down with a season-ending injury. They probably hand the ball over to Sam Howell, and you know that'll be that, and and we'll see what happens if he plays or whatever, right? Would you know you'd have to just kind of wait and see. And other than that, there's not really too many realistic candidates in this spot, you know. We a good division by division here, right? AFC North. We talk about the Steelers, right? The, ba- the Bengals, I mean, Burrow is going to be the guy, even if he has some crazy injury and, you know, he doesn't play the rest of the season, you know, whatever, right? Or he gets out, you know, he gets injured. He's going to come back and, he, you know, he's supposed to come back at the end of the season. He's going to come back. You know, it, it's it's not like their backup is going to, you know, if he plays if he plays insanely well, they're probably just going to trade him somewhere to another team. You know, Burrow, Burrow, is, Burrow is not in a spot where, he has to worry about some young quarterback coming in and playing better or whatever, right? That That's just stupid. That's silly. The Ravens, it's kind of an odd scenario because Tyler Huntley, you know, played due to the Lamar Jackson injury last year, right? And he played decent. And now with the Lamar Jackson contract negotiations and contract issue, I guess you could kind of point to them a little bit and say, well, that's that's a possibility, you know. If Jack, if things don't work out with Jackson, yeah, but now it wouldn't necessarily be an injury thing, right? It would more so be, or I mean, who knows? If he gets injured again this year, maybe. But you know, he gets injured and then they don't sign him again. You know, maybe that that would be a contender for that net, for what I'm talking about. That would fit the scenario. But it seems unlikely. And then for the Browns, you know, Deshaun Watson's gonna start when he comes back from suspension anyway. There's no, there's no way that, uh, you know, Jacoby Brissett or Kellen Mond or Josh Rosen or whoever they have on the practice squad, that it, it's not going to happen there. NFC, uh, NFC East, the Cowboys with Cooper Rush. I don't see Cooper Rush having that similar Dak Prescott, you know comes in due to injury, plays well, and then he's named the starter. I don't think he's on that level of just ability. I don't think he has it. The Eagles with Gardner Minshew and Jalen Hurts. Hurts could get injured and, and, and Minshew would play, but I don't think that would end Hurts' time with the Eagles. I already talked about the Commanders and then the Giants. Their backup is Tyrod Taylor. He's been around the block, so it's not like that's anything new. AFC East, the Patriots, Mac Jones, if he gets hurt, they have Brian Hoyer and Jarrett Stidham. Or, I don't eh, – Hoyer might be on a different team, but either way, whoever it is is not going to be – you know, not going to go out and have some illustrious 15-year career and be a Hall of Famer. But, I mean, they said the same thing about Kurt Warner, I guess, right? But it, it's just – it seems unlikely. The Dolphins with Teddy Bridgewater and Tua Tagovailoa – if Tua gets hurt, Bridgewater comes in. That's his job to be the backup. It's not his job to take Tua's job, you know, and, and be the quarterback number one in the future. You know, it, it for for Bridgewater, it's just a, a safe fallback option for the Dolphins. The Jets with Zach Wilson. Yeah, he's hurt, but Joe Flacco isn't necessarily going to be, you know, especially not after that first week. Uh, He's not going to threaten Zach Wilson's job in New York, at least as of right now. The what's the other team? The the Bills. That's that's, if Allen gets hurt, he's gonna. It's same thing as Burrow. He's going to be. He'll he'll still be the starter when he's healthy. It doesn't matter how well Case Keenum does. NFC North. 
Rodgers gets injured. Jordan Love already played a game. He didn't look all that great in my book. He, I don't think he can threaten Rodgers' starting job for, for the Packers. Whoever the backup for the Vikings is, is I don't think going to threaten Kirk Cousins' job. The Lions with Jared Goff, they've got they've got um, they've got the guy that was um, what Nate Sudfeld, right? They got him, and I think they might still have David Blau. Not guys that are going to threaten even even a quarterback as you know. I don't want to say bad, but as as a quarterback as you know that has had as many struggles as Jared Goff, I, I should say. And then the Bears. I don't even know who their backup quarterback is. And I looked at it earlier, so I just a matter of forgetting. But I don't think that Justin Fields, if he gets injured, whoever their backup is, is going to, again, it's not going to happen there. AFC South. Trevor Lawrence, you know, he gets injured. The backup's not going to threaten his position. Uh, Nick Foles, I believe, is on the Indianapolis Colts. And you know what? Maybe he could be a possible candidate to trade for the to the Dallas Cowboys but probably it probably won't happen uh Matt Ryan is the starter right there I don't think if he gets hurt Foles is probably the guy for the rest of the season and then maybe Matt Ryan's back for next year I or who knows if he retires or not either way they probably look for a new guy they wouldn't stick with Nick Foles for the future whoever the Texans backup quarterback is it's still AJ McCarron I don't know again I looked at it earlier I just forget Davis Mills gets hurt. He's not going to be in any position to lose his job to the backup quarterback in that scenario. I already mentioned the Tennessee Titans, that they are a likely candidate for this type of thing to happen. Um, So that's that division. The NFC South, Blaine Gabbert's not going to be... Blaine Gabbert is not going to be what Tom Brady was to to Drew Bledsoe. Not going to happen. Andy Dalton, maybe, right, if Winston gets hurt and Dalton plays really well, you know, then that's two consecutive seasons that Winston has had a, a an injury like that. Maybe they stick with Dalton. That, that That's that's an iffy one. The Falcons, as I mentioned, Ritter, maybe. Who knows, he might be getting the job anyway. But, uh, you know, that, that's a possibility there. Um, the Panthers with Baker Mayfield, I you know, they've got what Darnold is on IR, I believe, and then their backup is what PJ Walker. Not gonna happen there. AFC West. Uh Chase Daniels not threatening Justin Herbert. Let's just put that out there. Whoever the Raiders backup is, not threatening at all. Whoever the Chiefs backup is, not threatening at all. Broncos, their backup, was it Jeff Driscoll, Brett Ripian, not a threat at all. So it's not gonna happen there. NFC West, potentially Drew Locke. I doubt it. You know, maybe Geno gets hurt and then Drew Locke is the guy it starts and, you know, he plays well or whatever, but I, I doubt it. Uh, Matthew Stafford's not going to lose his job to uh, John Wolford. Let's just get that right. Trey Lance could lose his job, you know, in, if he gets injured and then Garoppolo comes out and he plays really well. That could happen, but I don't know that I would consider it a thing to to relate to this I and mean, I guess you could relate it to a certain extent but it's not not the same idea not what I'm getting at and then what's the other team the Cardinals right McSorley to Murray m- maybe potentially right and Mur- Murray is another running quarterback potentially could maybe get hurt and you know any quarterback can get hurt whether or not you know whether he's a pocket passer or a mobile guy you know, those quarterbacks get hurt all the time. But McSorley is a rookie. I mean, you know, he started, he started, he started that COVID Thanksgiving game for the Ravens against the, no, no, he didn't. That was RG three. Wasn't it back then? I, so I don't think McSorley has ever started a game in the regular season. Cause he came in in the Lamar Jackson poop game two years ago. Uh, I know he, appeared in that COVID Thanksgiving game against the Steelers. And I think that was it in terms of his appearances as a Raven. And then he, I know he came in at the end of the week one loss for the Cardinals against the Chiefs. So maybe, but I doubt it. It is the 
is where I'm feeling on that.